cartoon monster's presence. Succumb to the power of the golden rainbow friend! Help! Rainbow friends! Help me! <laughs> Next. <laughs> Try as you might, you cannot escape my wrath. Stay strong, everyone. We've almost lost him. You saw what he did to Green. If he even gets one hand on us, we're toast. I don't know about you guys, but I for one am not going to be some gold statue for the rest of my life. I die before. <laughs> No! It's too late for him. We need to keep moving. Ah, let go of me! No! Oh, my head! I think I broke it! That's the least of your concerns now, friend. Guys, help! My teeth! He broke my teeth! I do have rather thick skin, don't I? Mm, I wish you hadn't damaged yourself, though. Your statue is going to be so much less appealing now. Four down, one to go. No, 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 nothing is here. Surely I'd remember creating such a monster. You did create me. But not in the way you think. What does that mean? Who are you? How did you become like this? I certainly had no part in it. Not directly, no. But your DNA is the root cause of my suffering. DNA? I don't understand. Then allow me to explain before I kill you. It all started many, many years ago. You see, I grew up with an absolutely loving family. My father, mother, and I didn't have much. But we had each other, just enough to get by and be happy. Due to their support, I was an excellent student in school. On every one of my papers, I'd get a big, beautiful gold star. And it didn't stop at the academic, either. Their love carried me through my other pursuits. I was gifted musically, athletically, and more. I brought home gold trophies, and my parents proudly displayed them on the mantle. Things were good. Very good. It seemed like these great times would roll on forever. Until, of course, one day, all of that came crashing down. My father worked for a bigwig at a company that was all about margins and stocks and all that business hoopla. Dad, on the other hand, was much more of a free thinker. Needless to say, they had a bit of a falling out. My father called out the man for his cold, uncaring demeanor and threatened to take the whole place down. Well, no one in that meeting room liked that, I guess. I overheard my parents talk all about it when he came home. My mom was worried, but my dad only saw fire. He went into work the next day more confident in his cause than ever. Only he never came home that night, or any night after. The mysterious circumstances of my father's disappearance were left uninvestigated, no doubt from the pull of the company's weight. My mom and I were left alone. The joy had been sucked out of our house. And soon enough, they came for that too. The company and the Bigwood proposed a new expansion project. One that required a vast parking lot. A parking lot, they said, that had to go right on top of our home. Due to some backroom shenanigans, we weren't even given a buyout. We were displaced from the property and made homeless overnight. His death wasn't enough, apparently. With our lives uprooted, my mother and I scrambled to make whatever honest living we could. I started to work two jobs when I should have been focusing on my studies, just to try and help out. As a result, my grades dropped, my attendance plummeted, and I no longer had time for any extracurriculars. I became a subject of ridicule among the other students. They mocked me for being poor, and for having to work so hard. But I had thick skin even then. Their insults couldn't get to me, because only one thing mattered at that point getting my revenge. My family's condition worsened. It wasn't long before my mother passed away due to illness. I was officially alone in the world, all because of the actions of one man. I didn't know exactly what I could do to him, but I knew what I wanted to do. And so I began training, becoming bigger and stronger, readying myself for some fantasy confrontation. Alas, it never came, 
because I soon found out that the man himself had gone missing. I was distraught. I had toiled for years becoming a man on a mission, and yet I would have nothing to show for it until I did a little bit of research. Turns out the bigwig had a son, a businessman just like him, who had started a little thing called the Rainbow Friends Play Place. And so I decided that the sins of the father would pass on to his son. I had no doubt that this man would be just as evil, as cruel, as unconcerned with the lives he's ruined. I arrived at the play place soon after. I explored, but something felt off about this place. I entered what looked like some sort of laboratory. As I wandered, I nearly fell into a hole in the floor. As I peered down into the hole, two dark-colored hands emerged and pushed me back. I flew backwards and landed into a machine. The dark figure emerged from the hole and maneuvered over to a console even as I shouted to be let free. The machine whirred to life and my body began to change. My skin hardened, my face distorted into the shape of a star. I could only yell out in anger as I tackled the dark figure back down into the depths he crawled from. At some point I could no longer see in front of me. When I landed, I was all alone. I yelled up into the heavens and struck the floor with my oversized fist in a fit of rage. What happened next shocked me. The entire ground, the zone of impact, turned into a glimmering shiny gold. It seemed as though I could manipulate my surroundings. Using this newfound power, I knew that I could still have my revenge. I simply had to climb my way out. But like I said, it was a long way down. And much has changed about this place since I first fell down that hole. Much, but not all. I still want my revenge against the man and his son. You. You, Red. You are the son of the one who took my family from me. Who doomed me to this pitiful existence. And I will have my revenge. Listen to me. I sympathize with your struggles. My father is truly an awful man. I hate him more than anyone. You hate your own father? Lies. You're just like him. I... I have made mistakes, yes. I told myself I would never end up like him, and yet, I've done many of the same things. But now, so have you. What? Those rainbow friends that you've barreled through, that you've turned gold, they're completely innocent. If you want to punish anyone, then punish me. But please, afterwards, restore them if it's in your power. Now do what you must. I don't... I don't want to be like him. Then perhaps we can work together to destroy him once and for all. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs>